Sync. And he's running Sonic. And uh, Rich and Zoldy CK. I don't know who's who because of the tags. Uh, but we have a Sonic Pikachu team. Um, Sonic's pretty good. Um, you know, the forward air gives him trouble. And just the rush down of the speed and the, uh, the fake outs with the spin dash. But you have them on uh, both teams here. Uh, Pikachu's known for stuffing out opponents with projectiles. Uh, good aerial uh, coverage as well. Uh, and uh, great side coverage with that uh, second jump thunder. Uh, Greninja, very fast. Fast faller even. Dash attack's pretty good. Um, the fast faller, you have to be practiced with Greninja, obviously. Um, like, to be pretty good. And... Uh, from what I've seen with Echo's gameplay, she's pretty good. Uh, so, the aerials are going to be key, I believe, in this game. Like, the Sonics are probably just going to dash each other. and There is going to be a lot of ground game, but I think a lot of KOs are going to be decided in the air. Especially with Sonic's back air, Pikachu's thunder set up, and uh, Greninja's aerials. Alright, we're going to get started. Round 1 of this Wee Bear Bears number 31, uh, 41 doubles. Already see Rich up tilting, just racking up a ton of damage already, about 35% in the first 10 seconds. Iron going in with the up throw of his own. There's a lot of back and forth here so far. And Iron came in and just broke up everything. Ah, uh, sorry, that's uh, not Iron, that's Sync. It's gonna be hard to not call them by their tags, that's what I normally do. And Rich is going in, taking all names, actually gets a Greninja kill out of it. That side smash. And yeah, just like these Sonics. Uh, normally you see uh, Sonic get gimped with his uh, dashing. But um, since they have another Sonic, he's preoccupied with that as well. So they only have one person to take on the opposite Sonic. So they can get, uh, they can get pretty liberal with their like just run in and attacks. We see Zoldi almost get pushed off by uh, Echo's up B push. Almost does it again. But he latches to with the up B with a low recovery. Especially since Echo was on stage. Yeah, she has to be on the side of the stage if she's going to get uh, much value out of that uh, up B push. We see Zoldi try to go for a back air. And right now these two Sonics are trying to find purchase on each other. Iron came in, goes for the forward air, sends in, not going to kill just yet. And he has the platform for a safe recovery. Smashes left and right. Not going to get almost dashed into one there. And in terms of uh, back throw, not going to do it either. But a wasn't watching. Takes out Zoldi. Almost got it, but an up smash from Zoldi will take out the opposite Sonic of uh, Sync. Try to look for a combo. Actually gets it with the neutral air off the dash attack. Or the spin dash. Causes a little bit of trouble at, uh, for Echo. Trying to find purchase here. Tries to go for the vanish attack there. Okay, good uh, good awareness, I guess, for the uh, up smash. The blades off to the side. Stopping Zoldi's approach. Echo separating with the dash attack. Gets a spike on stage. Sends Pikachu almost out. Tries to push off as well, but it was just a little too short. Zoldi goes in with the grab. Thunder almost connects on Echo, but a great air dodge. Oh, Jay adds yeah, a little too early and a little too uh, brash on Echo. Trying to go in with the neutral air to challenge Rick's side smash. Echo gets back on stage because of the platform. Very nice uh, stage. Uh, what do you call that? Awareness. There you go. Coming in with spin dash, but gets broken up. Thunder's gonna wall out. No, Echo comes in with the forward smash, gets back on stage though. All right, sorry, the uh, forward air from Rich, but gets back on stage. Right now, Echo's trying these falling neutrals, playing a lot of ground game. But I think Greninja would be a little, just a tiny bit better in the air. Oh, just on the side of that thunder. Thank God it was that. Well, not uh, the drifting or the down. Really down. Zoldi is going to get back with Spring. Echo, okay, going in deep with that uh, that Vanish. Very nice. 
Gets a good amount of damage. They're looking for a combo here, but Zoldi breaks that up. And she pays for the Vanish attack that time from a solid up smash from Pikachu. And now is... Okay, Share Stock option was called out. And so long as they can get rid of this Pikachu, they're still in it. Uh, the, uh, I, uh, I was just about to say, Sinks has to be real careful with that 93 damage with the back air from the opposing Sonic. Will leave Echo by herself. Good Vanish might take out Pikachu now, but, uh, okay, uh, good teamwork there from Zoldi, making sure his teammate had a safe recovery. Good back air breakup from Rich. Good dodging with that up B, trying to get around Pikachu's, uh, edge guarding. Gotta be aware of what Pikachu can do, especially with that jab lock. Oh, okay, but Zoli wanted some for himself and actually breaks out of the jab lock. Forward smash, not gonna do it just yet, but it's gonna give him stage presence. Vanish again, going in low, but Echo has the, okay, back air. So close to taking out. Good attack, get up. Right now they're just thrown out in the neutral here. All right, gets the attack in, but yeah, that, uh, backup character that the red team has. And the forward air almost had the, uh, the substitute ready. Thunder almost countered it. Going in deep, but just a little too deep. And uh, round one will be claimed by the real Mr. M and Petronix. Uh, let's see. Okay, we see a swap here from Sync, going from Sonic to... To... <laughs> I mean, if I were gonna offer any kind of uh, input on playstyles. I think Echo was getting a little too brash, and, uh, it left herself open a tiny bit. Um, she, uh, like, granted, uh, Greninja's ground game has yet to get in kind of close unless you're using the dash attack, which is pretty good. Um, but even that has a ton of cooldown at the end, and that was just leaving them open, and, uh, you just have to be able to predict when your opponent's gonna shield something, or when they're just going to be aware of when you're coming in, what you're throwing out. And if she can fake out opponents like that, she should be able to do a lot more damage on the ground. But her aerial, aerial game is pretty solid. Like, she knows the push off the, uh, the up B. Um, so we'll see how the adjustment uh, of the character swap. Sync goes Fox. Sync goes, again, Sync goes Fox. And we'll see how that swap uh, uh, benefits them here in round two. Right now, it's slight advantage in the red team's favor, just looking at percentages. And right now, Greninja is getting a little bit more of the beating. Gets the throw. Very nice uh, combo there from Echo, though. Soldi coming in with that back air. She has to be a little more aware of where her opponents are, too. Oh, yeah, especially with that short recovery. She thought uh, Zoldi was just going to stay there and wait, so she tried to fake him out with an awkward recovery, but she just fell just a little bit short. And the first stock will be claimed off of uh, Echo. And Red Team does get back here. And an up smash from Sync will take out the first stock on Zoldi. I wish I knew what his actual tag was. Not like in game tag, but like uh, player tag. Red team doing a pretty good job commanding the stage. I haven't seen a whole lot of platform or aerial gameplay yet, though. This time around. Back throw will separate. Okay, Zoldi off the other side does take a uh, stock off of Sync. And then right now, Pikachu's doing the wise thing, just hanging back and moving in. Uh, playing the role of the stock tank, which uh, is what you see a lot of setups and doubles. One character who can basically live for a long time. Which actually is surprising to be a Pikachu. Great job predicting that uh, where that Phantasm is going to end up. Almost connects with the Thunder as well. Uh, right now, Rich is playing a pretty good, a really good Pikachu. Um, but going back, uh, 
Right now Pikachu's a little bit in the fray, but he, you see he's moving back now, trying to get those neutrals and uh, back airs where he can. Just holding on to the stocks, so like if his teammate does drop down in stocks um, lower than he'd like, the chair stock option is there. Going in deep is Echo, might not. Nah. Uh, Sonic has a good recovery. It was a nice attempt by Echo though. A connection with an up smash from uh, Sync will take out, I believe that was Sonic's, yeah. The Son Sonic is down to his last stock. But Rich holding on at 118. You would thought that a, a smash from Fox or even uh, an aerial from Greninja would have taken him out already. And that should do it, yeah, the, uh, the Vanish. I forget what's dead. The actual name of the move is, but I'm gonna call it Vanish, because I can. Alright, good uh, up tilts from uh, Sync, cracking up the fair amount of, or an alright amount of damage. Just doing what he can, because Red Team is not afraid to move in right now. Alright, very uh, nice jab, Got, caught both of them eventually. Right now, Red Team has good purchase, and a forward smash will take out Echo, and that leaves Sync on his last stock to face against three stocks. I think that he was looking, uh, Rich was looking for a thunder after that, but, uh, the spring from his teammate kind of interrupted him. Forward air from Rich will send, uh, Sink off the side, gets in with a Phantasm, just short with, uh, Rich's side smash there. And right now the pressure off this platform, he has to find main stage, uh, presence right now. And just a fast fall might do it, and he gets pineappled. Yep, and that'll be it. A 2-0 for the real Mr. M and Patronix. They will be uh, moving on to face... Vash and Redeemer, Z, in uh, Winner's Quarterfinals. So yeah, uh, if you guys are waiting for singles, don't worry, um, we only have about nine teams. So, uh, although we're trying to bring the best we can.